Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great Excel video today. I'm only covering one topic, but this topic will have multiple chapters. It is regarding how to handle time in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to add uh, three hours, which is set up as three colon zero zero, to nine a.m., which is set up as nine colon zero zero. But then I'm going to approach it from I've got the nine a.m. set up correctly as a time format. But the three hours is truly the number three. How to handle that. There'll be another chapter on how to subtract one time from another because you don't always get the correct answer. So I'll show you that one. And just in general, some time formatting and what to do uh, if you run into issues. The file that I'm using right now that you see on the screen will be available for download. So just download it and then you can follow along with this video. Let's go ahead and get started with the very first easy one. So I'm going to do the very first one is going to be the time function in Excel. So I've got a list of training classes in A. I've got the start time in column B, but I need the end time in case you're wondering why, because maybe I need to upload this to my uh, import this to my Outlook calendar. I could even take this to a Google calendar, maybe to a LMS. So if I'm making this up, if every one of these classes were three hours, you're going to say, well, I'm going to take B2, the 8.30 a.m., and add three. And clearly it didn't work because one is set up as a time format and the number three is an actual number. So this one's really simple. I'm going to take B2. I need to add three hours. I'm going to use a cool function called the time function. The time function has three arguments, hours, minutes, and seconds. Notice they're separated by comma. So there's three hours. I'm sorry, there's three arguments. I want to add three hours. I do have to do three comma zero comma zero. You've got to put in all three arguments. I should get 1130. And I do. They're all three hours in this example. I'm going to come back and tweak this, but look, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., 1 p.m. to 4, working. Just to show you this, I'm going to edit this formula in C2. If these were three hours and 30 minutes, 3, 30, 0. Again, crosshairs, double click to autofill down, still working. That was example one. I'm going to highlight and delete these. Example number two. All the classes are not the same duration. So I've got in column D the duration, but notice again it's the hours colon minute. So this one's actually pretty easy. I don't need to use the time function. Equals B2 plus Cell D2, there I go, crosshairs, double click. Easy on that one. For training purposes, I'm going to leave this column in here just to keep it here. But my next example, duration two, if I misspelled it, I don't care. Instead of having the duration being three hours colon and the number of minutes, this one's three hours, 3.5, four hours. I'm just making these numbers up to test it. Hour and 15 is 1.25. And look, I don't feel like typing anymore, so I'm going to just double click and autofill these down. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I'm going to just select them all right here. I'll make the rest of them three hours and 30 minutes, 3.5 hours. So now. Again, in real life, you would not have end time in here twice in C and in F, but just to show you this, I need to take the 830 and add to it three hours. We've already discussed this. It's not going to work, right? So to make it work, 24 hours in a day, so equals 830 plus... E2, the three hours, divided by 24. Right there is your formula. I should get 1130. And I do 
crosshairs. I'm going to pull it down just a couple times. 12 o'clock, 12.30, everything's working. I like to just check stuff when I'm going through here. So there you go. So we've used the time function. We've also added the start time and the duration, which they're both set up as time. And now we've just done a decimal. Let's take a look at a couple other items. This example, I came into work at 9 a.m. I left work at 5 p.m. I can just subtract. This is the first one we've done a subtraction with. The 5 p.m. minus the 9, 8 hours. It shows up as 8 a.m. So I'm going to go to Format Cells, either Control-1, or you can right-click. Here's the trick here. Just lose the a.m. and p.m. And now I showed you, I told you I was going to show you this 24 hours in a day. So Excel gets a little funny about time that goes over 24 hours. So let me show you how to handle that. Act like this was the day of Monday and act like I work Monday through Friday. One, two, three, four, five days. So we've got our five days. We've got eight hours each day. If I go and auto sum those times, you know, I should get 40 hours but I bet I get 16. I do. Here's the reason why, because there's 24 hours in a day, so it takes the 24 hours, then it starts another day and says, hey, there's only 16. So to fix this, again, we're gonna go back to format cells. This is an easy one to fix. Custom, the H colon MM, put in brackets or braces around the H. You don't have to do it for the minutes. And look, there's my sample right there showing me the 40 hours and hit OK. And that took care of that one. So that was a format sales trick. One last little item I want to tell you about and watch this one. So act like on Friday they needed me to come in at 9 p.m. And I worked to 3 a.m. And if you notice, down below are pound symbols across the screen and Microsoft Excel is smart enough to know that I'm trying to subtract or add time. So look at this message I get. Dates and times that are negative or too large show as pound symbols. So that's why I've got that. Widening column L would do absolutely nothing. So here's why that happens and here's how to fix it. I've already got this set up. I'm going to unhide. Actually, <laughs> So real quick, this will be really fast. I typed in 12 a.m. I typed in 1 a.m. Select them both. Crosshairs pull down until I get to 11 p.m. Perfect. Copy those and paste them. I'm going to paste them right here next to them. So 12 a.m. is zero. 12 p.m. noon is 0.5. To prove it, here is comma style. And I'm going to increase the decimal just one time. So 12 a.m. is 0. 12 p.m. is 0.5. So what I'm trying to do down here, if you think about this, the math, I took 3 a.m. and I subtracted 9 p.m. Well, 3 a.m., let me copy and paste this real quick to show you this. Copy. I'll put it right here again. Paste. Again, comma. 3 a.m. is 0 0.125. Right there. 9 p.m. is 0.875. So what I'm saying is I'm taking that number as time and subtracting that number if they're numbers, they're fine, but when they're time, it's going to show you the pound symbols. So numbers, you can subtract and get a negative, but when it comes to time, you can't. So that's why I'm getting this message here. So all you have to do if you ever do this is just add the number 1. So 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. is 6 hours, and there's 38 hours for the week. A couple other items. Control shift semicolon will put in the current time in case you didn't know that one. Anyway, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate your time. I know this was a somewhat lengthy video, but if you need to deal with time, adding time, subtracting time, why is it not working? 
Now you know about time, how it's set up. Now you know how to add decimals to a time format, add time to a time format, use the time function. So I think I covered pretty much everything I needed to, hopefully. Any questions, let me know. Have a great day.